Maybe he thinks that's a target. That's one thing you can't miss. There are both fighters. Best punch is their jab. Quick as uh, Morris, and Moore can hook off when they're fighting a southpaw. Has moved to the right, and that's what George is doing. So Moore following Foreman as Foreman moves the left foot away from Moore's right eye. Has never really fully recovered from the beating Stewart gave him. George got nice right hand. But Angelo Dundee is identified as the cut man in four in his corner. So maybe maybe he's going to compromise that way. But so far, punching range and George's punches are not the fastest in the world. I think he'd be able to really sharp right by Moore. Jab and hook. Good straight right hand by. Good right hand by Moore. Eddie Atlas wanted Michael Moore to work at him. That's correct. And as Larry mentioned, which is true, he's really trying to put his will on Michael by just keeping that pressure on, not getting rattled, got nailed in. We've begun to think of them as being so intertwined that they're almost the same person in there. Moore misses with the... You can see Foreman loading up with that right hand. I'm surprised that Moore couldn't see it. Countering when George misses. Solid left hand over the strong man. But the, the speed, he doesn't have the hand speed or the snapping. There aren't going to be many of George's punches that Moore won't see coming. And uh, again, trying to move. A nice combination by George and an answer back. Count ten times that he's taken steps backward. <laughs> Took by Foreman, landed on the side of Moore's head. Moore comes in and lands a left of his own. A lot. I have Moore ahead two rounds, one and one. One even. Down the 45-year-old challenge. Maybe the other way around, the way George is. And again, you see George clubbing away with those big ponderous. There are the right hands. And George has been landing some pretty good punches. In the last 20, there's a good snapping jab from George. And, and there are two right hands from Moore. Hook jabs, whatever you call them, quite as stiffly as that, Gil. Well, you know, uh, Moore is one of the, he's a straight punch, had a little snap on him. Good right hand by George Foreman. Jones can set up that straight left hand. to good effect in round six. <laughs> Battle of the jabs is being won by Michael Moore. He finally threw a left cross there and almost like a turkey, but no the turkey is landing a few drumsticks right now movement to set George up. Nice straight right hand down the pipe by George. But Moore so far prefers throwing Eight. the... Seven rounds in the books. Harold Letterman, how do you see it so far? Jim. To do. Big right hand. That's the best right hand of the fight by George Foreman. And Michael backed up off that right hand by Foreman. He almost did it. Near trip by George. They keep the question is whether George has recovered, because he's now trying to take a break, it looks like. <laughs> Left and a right in. Uppercut by Moore, blasted Foreman's chin backward. And George makes it out of the round. I used to worry about his health, Gil. I'd stop when he has to be, and he disappears when he should. I think he's terrific. shot by Moore. <laughs> Dropping now. Watch the water, watch Earlier the water. in the fight, he was has walked casually past Foreman and said, George, don't do that. Right hand landed there. And another. And a right and a left, and suddenly Moore is Foreman waiting in to set up a left hook. Good and left another hook. left hook. And another left hook shot that missed. Atlas, here we go again with the Atlas. Uh, Michael Moore is down. down goes Moore on a right hand. One, two, it happened. It happened. You know, it 
this is a two to one fight, but in my mind, it was a gazillion to one that George Foreman could ever win the heavyweight championship again. Well, we mentioned that he was having a strong round. He had set up some blows and then that right hand, and as he momentarily went to sleep.